66 years old. And I think it's probably the best gun I've ever made. I look at it, it's like every curve and every line, it's all perfect. It was just, uh, it was incredible. It's just incredible because it was like the culmination of my whole career. I've been doing this all my life. I mean, this project started when I was 12 years old and I bought my first surfboard, which was a used balsa wood board. It cost 20 bucks. You know, starting to make surfboards and shaping surfboards was always for me an art. Making the foam boards were like lithographs. They weren't, they were, they were reproduction. And I started making wood boards and I shaped the first one. I'm not doing this again. It was like pretty brutal. And there's some people that have personalities where they just can't sit still. I just, I just gotta keep trying. You know, as my career progressed, I was in a position where I could concentrate on my art and that's been the agave board. First thing is actually obtaining the stocks. And so you can't go buy the wood. You've got to go find them in alleys and backyards. They're planted all over California. They're actually all over the world, if you look. It's a 30-year cycle for the plant. You, you're gonna have about six to eight stocks that you need for a board, so you've gotta find those, and then I've gotta let it dry for another year. So when it's all ready to go, then I mill it. You do one glue section at a time, and it takes about five or six days to glue it. I just let my hands and my subconscious take over, and. It's a one-man show all the way. You're always inspired by the person that you're going to make it for. Alex is one of the best young big wave riders in the world. If I could have picked anybody to, you know, to ride that board, it would have been him. When I first walked in Gary's factory and walked down the hallway, I turned the corner and looked, and that lighting from the shaping bays just lit up every little grain of the agave, and my heart stopped. Gary shaped a beautiful, beautiful surfboard, and it needed to be ridden. It needed to be matched on a big wave. That's what needed to really bring this home. It's, it's your boat. It's your survival craft. You gotta have a good one that you trust. You gotta have a board that's capable of allowing you to survive in big waves. That is what we call a big wave gun. Riding offshore waves can be difficult in that you do, you'll get the swells, but to get those conditions is rare. I think what's becoming more and more my favorite part of surfing is the one thing we need in our control is completely out of our control, and that's Mother Nature. When we rounded the island and got our first look, you feel like you've escaped to Neverland, somewhere that nobody knew existed. You 
know, I used to, when I shaped and worked, you know, it's kind of hand to mouth for so many years and I just put a little bit of money aside and we'd go out and camp out on the island in the lighthouse and that, that would be the big thing for the year and you'd ride whatever came your way and those three days I just like non-stop surf and I come back came ready for anything. For my soul that's where I get this serene feeling that I just uh, you know makes me happy. Now we have so much information that's available, we just kind of wait for the forecasters to tell us what to do. I still have my own kind of ways of doing it and I'll be able to feel this is the time. The winds were light, the sun was out. You still don't know what you're gonna get until you get out there. Lot of expectation and anxiety. Try and shut both of them off. It was crowded. A lot of surfers out. Jet skis for rescue. And every time you paddle for a wave, it's got its consequences. And I just saw this big one come in. A couple of strokes and he was in, right place, right time. I was just so excited right at that point. On that last wave, you got the full experience. You don't really feel the wave until it hits you, and then you feel the source. You know, things have changed, you know, everything's changed. Fortunately, I look at change and, and that the essentials haven't changed. Big wave surfing allows you to experience your life in one little composite all at once. I mean, I, you know, I guess, I guess there's a lot of love. I mean, it, when you're working on something and you're just so passionate about it, it just, some of that must come through my hands. I'm not thinking. I've been, I've done it, I've been doing it for 50 years, you know, and I'm not thinking anymore about it. I just let my hands and my subconscious take over, and then I just get surprised with what, what they come up with. 